Hi Space Cats, I'm Dr. Maggie Liu. Welcome back to my channel. We're all too familiar with the question of what came first, the chicken or the egg? But let's take an astronomer's spin on this question and ask what came first, stars or galaxies? What do you think? If you take a look at the Oxford Dictionary for the definition of a galaxy, you'll find that it's a noun. It describes a system of millions or even billions of stars together with gas and dust held together by gravitational attraction. This definition alone suggests that there are no galaxies without the existence of stars. And rightly so, when we describe the early universe, it usually goes something along the lines of this. After the Big Bang, the universe was hot and dense. So it wasn't until a few hundred thousand years later when the universe had expanded and cooled down enough that the first atoms, hydrogen and helium, could then form. The cosmic microwave background, aka the CMB, produced during recombination, still provides important clues about the early universe, including its temperature and density fluctuations. These are what seeded the formation of the first stars from the gravitational collapse of clouds of gas and dust. The first galaxies then formed through the hierarchical merging of smaller structures like star clusters. So that's the answer, right? Obviously, stars formed first. Well, actually, not necessarily. You see, for an astronomer, our definition of a galaxy is actually slightly different. For an astronomer, a galaxy is any structure in space that consists of a central concentration of baryonic or ordinary matter. These are things including stars, galaxies and dust embedded within a halo of dark matter. Taking this definition, galaxies do not necessarily need to contain any stars at all. They could just be made out of gas and dark matter. If this is the case, then it's quite possible that in the early universe, the first galaxies were initially composed of extremely dense gas without any stars present. And later, the first stars could be formed out of this gas. These primordial or dark galaxies are galaxies that are devoid of any stars and surprisingly they are known to exist. These objects are hard to see because they don't have any stars, they don't have any light needed for them to be picked up by visible telescopes. But on the off chance that you have a nearby quasar aka an active galaxy powered by a feeding black hole then this quasar can illuminate those dark galaxies to help us observe them more easily. It's also possible to detect the neutral hydrogen gas with radio telescopes. But actually there are theoretical models that actually predict early galaxies should be devoid of stars. They would just be too dense for star formation to occur at all. The high densities would mean that the materials would not be able to cool enough to form stars and there's some evidence to back this. For example, some of our oldest galaxies that have ever been observed are very faint and this suggests that they're not forming many stars at all. Dark galaxies could also be the key to solving the missing satellite problem where the number of satellite galaxies predicted by our cosmological simulations is much higher than what we would observe. It could very well be that the missing objects are devoid of stars, so we haven't seen them yet. More recently, with the JWST launch, perhaps we may have expected the answer by now. But actually, JWST may have made things even more complicated. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has detected six galaxies that are thought to have formed just 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang. These galaxies are so massive that they are thought to contain as many as 100 billion stars each. But according to current models, galaxies should not have been able to form so quickly. They just haven't had the time to accumulate as many stars as they have. As many stars as our galaxy, the Milky Way, which has had 13.6 
billion years to do so compared to their few hundred million. These galaxies are much more massive than we expected for such an early time in the universe's history, and their discovery challenges our understanding of how galaxies formed. Perhaps we just don't understand galaxies or stars or how they form at all. So what's the answer? Did stars come first or galaxies? Well, the honest answer is we just don't know. Much like the paradoxical question of whether the chicken or the egg came first, this question remains open. We have a lot more to learn. That's all for this week's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave me a like, share and subscribe.